Hello and good morning. Good to see you. Hello, Vengelov. Hello, Hongzilla. We are going to play Control Light today. Yeah, it's time to duel. For sure. We are practicing Control Light for Weekend Ranked because... I think the deck is really good at the meta right now, but I'm afraid I'm not good at playing it. So, let's try to practice a little. Yeah! Here we go. You are not good at all, I know, but I will teach you. You want to teach me? Impossible. Hmm. Our opponent plays a Nubian. So I guess Light Slavey will be good. I don't know if we need Senjua and Tidal Prayer. Might be all right. I think Tidal Prayer is good to get a second Levy. But with the Sandra, I'm not sure. Lips are sealed, we won't need. Ah, oh, there's the other Levy. So, but do we need a Tidal Prayer then? I guess I'll keep it. Dead. I cannot rest Next time, you have not to now. show me how you've done the sound alerts. Yeah, I'm going to teach you. Don't worry. We can do that. It's easy. What the fuck? I wish I kept Senjua, I guess. Let's play Tidal Prayer. Oh, and we take Yukos in Eclipse. That's awesome. Yeah, don't worry, Kongzilla. It's really, really easy. I'm wondering. He plays Untold Greed on the Priestess. That's not nice. In this case, I think we are going to use Light Slavey on the Raving Necromancer. Like this, he's not ending up in his void. Ah, uh, Necro Scepter. I don't like that. I guess we play just Pyramid Warden and bump into his face. We want to make sure we can get Gleam here. Ich habe einen Typen, der macht mir Alert, Alerts und Emotes und kleine Bilder für die Kanalpunkte. Bezahl denn dafür? Hast du noch eine Idee, was ich noch bräuchte? Ähm, eventuell halt auch so Szenen für ähm, sowas hier. Sowas wäre doch cool, oder? Bei dir. I guess we play another Light Slavey on this Priestess. And we're going to hit the face again. Stimmt, das wird aber bestimmt ein anderes Paket sein. Das müsste ich nochmal bezahlen. Ach so. Hm. Ist von 5 RR? Okay. Hab ich noch nie von gehört. Ich habe absolut keine Ahnung. Ah, he's using Blight Bomb. If you are lucky, he gets just a zombie back. But he is lucky, he gets the Priestess. Hmm, 
think he's going to draw. We are going to draw two, though. Hmm. Okay. Nee, Webseite. Kannst du Freelancer beauftragen, deine Sachen zu machen? Da habe ich meinen Concealer her. Okay, okay, okay. Ja, das klingt doch gar nicht mal so schlecht. Hmm. I think we hit the face once to get Gleam. Then we bump into Priestess and we banish Priestess. Like this. Priestess and maybe... Well, uh, the rest we don't really care about. Borrowing Scarab. And then Highborn Knight should be alright. Ich hatte da halt für meinen Kanal auch schon so ein paar Ideen. Und bin jetzt halt gerade mit Psycho dran, das zu machen. Ja, mal gucken. Ich bin mir noch nicht ganz sicher, wie das alles wird. Hmm. We have to finish her for sure, I guess. Do we want to play Yukos here? I'm not quite sure. I guess we just do it. We get rid of the zombie, we get rid of her. The zombie gets weaker. And we still got some mana left. Guess let's heal. And we go for Tidal Prayer. What next? It's all okay. I don't know. I guess we have enough. Enough value in general. And Lysander's Mercy is too expensive, I guess. Another raving necromancer, okay. And he's using untold greed right away. Ragnarök. Ah, that hurts. Ah, he's also playing these Blackfire Flatling stuff, okay. We bump into the zombie, we bump into the flatling. And then we play you cause an eclipse to get rid of those. And then I guess it's time for some heals. Next turn we can pip into Demogorgon or Hortak. Hmm. But we definitely need some heal. Kongzilla, hast du heute eigentlich frei? Oder auch wieder Tagschicht? Turn. Hm. Oh, ach du meine Güte. Dann erhol dich gut. I guess we hit the face and pip into Demogorgon. Send them all to sleep and we heal a little. Array of disintegration though. Guten Morgen, Stefanos, welcome back. Great to see ya. Aiko! Echo is great, but I'm afraid we need Hortak first. Or we might play Aiko and Senjo and Inquisitor Informant. 
being totally crazy. Ah, I guess. Frontline leech. Bobong civilian. Welcome back, man. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But I was thinking like we, we probably can finish him next turn if we do it like this. And if we are unlucky, he can play a Blight Bomb on Aiko, for example. I'm sorry. You earned your rest. But thank you very much for your suggestion. All right. I see. Not bad, though. Yeah, I think both, uh, bo both variants are definitely playable. Can we somehow push one more damage? I guess not. No. So then I think we play Ico for sure now. To get rid of this. And going to leech push him a little more and i don't know with 20 we are, should be safe i guess Reach into the black so we can finish our attack. But doesn't really matter. GG. I guess that was pretty easy. We were lucky with our cards though. Light Slavey was so strong, and also Yukos in Eclipse. They are so, so important in this matchup. Yeah, thank you. Hmm, waiting for opponent. When it's taking that long, I'm always afraid he's not showing up. Ah, here he goes. Alright. And our next opponent is death again? Zombie tempo death, though. Ah, uh, I'm afraid... Here... I... <laughs> Could we go Radiance, actually? Hmm. We could reduce the zombies to zero pretty often, I guess. Especially when he plays Cursed Obelisk. He is playing one corpse explosion, though. I'm not sure about it. Light Slavey is going to be good. I think Lips are sealed we won't need. The Mugorgon is in the beginning also way too big. Idle prayer, it's okay. I'm going second, I guess I keep that hand. Dead. I know failure. Or maybe I we should have mulliganed again. Inquisitor informant for relic removal. It is time. Oh, hmm. Really departed is not that great. Oh yeah, let's take another light slavey. He'll play now Necro Scepter? No. Now let's play some order on the Vanguard X Woman. Oh. Sound is stuck. The song is stuck. The playlist. Oh, what the hell? Come on, pretzel, please. Do your thing. Refresh. 
I hope the music is coming back soon. Wow, you are following already. Nine months. <laughs> we just need your voice. You're so cute sometimes, Kongzilla. Mm. I guess I'm going to pip into Highborn Knight. You ever just feel like can finish him, but it'll take his own ball. Ah, fuck. Perseverance. That's not good. It's filling the board way too much. I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, that is taking out Highborn Knight way too easily. Hmm. The trial begins, so we might look for Nether Swarm Lord next turn, maybe. Hey, Oatmeal Games! Thank you so much. Have a great day too, man. I had a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hmm. I guess we take his fee. Thank you. I'll make sure I come to your stream again too. I think it looks a little bit bad. We are under pressure. And when he can reduce us to 15 or even to 12 and then pull off his corpse explosion. I'm really wondering what he's looking for with the trial begins, but I guess it's going to be Nether Swarm Lord. Oh, huh. Necro Scepter. And we don't have a relic removal. Hmm. Shit. Lips are sealed is not helpful at all. Yeah, it's not the swarm lord. I can do no more. And he was drawing another one? What the fuck? Insane. Maybe if we are lucky, we can survive another round when he's not getting corpse explosion. And then we can seal his lips for the whole board. Let's give the bigger to Senjo. We're hitting the face, we heal. We pass. There is no escaping or maybe we should have sent her two more. But I guess it doesn't matter. If he got the corpse explosion, we would be dead anyway. Two for the face. We go down to 14. And then corpse explosion, 18 damage. Curse of greed. Okay. So no corpse explosion. So lips are sealed is really a huge help here. As long as he's not getting corpse explosion, then we are just dead. We're down to nine. So here we go. Sealing some lips. And Demogorgon back to back, nice. No light at the end of this tunnel. <laughs> Blight bombing his own creature, interesting.
I think you lose. Maybe. We'll see. Still got Demogorgons. And they are buying us a lot of time. Mm. I don't have enough mana. And we mana search Tidal Prayer. With Tidal Prayer, we can get a card that is shuffling his whole board into his deck again. It's not over yet. But maybe you're right. Yeah, he got Corpse Explosion now, huh? That was that is lucky. Yeah, okay. You're right. Without Corpse Explosion, I think we could have survived a lot of time. I cannot subscribe you with Prime anymore. Why is that? I have no clue. Usually you should be able. So at the moment you have no su Prime subscription on my channel? Hmm... That's strange. Like, is it showing an arrow? Uh, or is it just gray or how? I don't know. What's the, the problem? Maybe there is a fault by me, no, I don't see the option for that. Okay, that's strange. But then the question is, do you see the options on other channels? Our uh, next opponent is Agro War, so I guess we shuffle Inescapable Duty in. Blade of White Plane is good in this matchup, but I guess for the beginning it's too bit big. Hmm, wait a second. Gilly Departed we won't need. Highborn Knight is okay. But also too big, I guess. Look, this is going to be tough. So yeah, just, this is better. Uh, try your best. The light shine upon us both. Enduring shield. Okay. That's a little bit slow, so I don't mind. Hmm. Woodcutter in. Ooh. It is time. I think I might just heal. Lycaios Adherent. Mm -hmm. and I guess we send you these two and we heal again. Warmonger Smith and Tavern Brawler. I guess Yukos and Eclipse is pretty neat now, probably. Night 
Okay. We're going to place the white oh, guard on top oh, of this deck again. What next? Yes, I wasted I my divine judgment. I should have used rest. that on the white forgot actually, I guess. But I think we are going to survive long enough. For Hortak, hopefully. Overproof crew. Oh. Fuck. That makes them way too strong. Fair's fair. Light slavery is not possible anymore. We have no choice. We gotta play Dearly Departed. That is going to get killed next turn. And we heal. Really only chances to survive two more turns and play Hortak. Fuck. Overproof Brew is really a card I don't really think that is coming. So I really thought I would be pretty safe here. But this makes his cards be... We made them pretty weak, but plus two and protected. Hmm. This is crazy. Cunning challenger. Uh oh. I'm afraid we just die. Hmm. Sanders Mercy would be good, I guess. No target for lights, lady. We go down to nine. And another white forker. So if we finish the white forker. Hmm. It is time. And we got two leech guys. So we are going to leech for three and then he can beat us down to one. No? Yeah. Finish them. One additional damage and we are dead. What could he have to push that? Soul Survivor, another round. Blade of Sticks, there are so many options. Sharpen. Yeah, we are dead. No name, hear me. Anyan, hello. Nice to meet you. What do you want to say? No name, hear me? I don't know what you mean. Okay, I didn't recognize the misplay, actually. <laughs> Another aggro war guy. He's playing a lot of relics. He's playing Skites of Harvest twice and Blade of Sticks twice. Pretty aggressive deck.
just JP, Warsmith, then attack with one health creature. Hmm, okay. Guess we're going to keep this hand. If I may. With Tidal Prayer, we can look for Sandra, which is going to be helpful. Reach. Well, Light Slavey. I hope. Oh, I don't know. What? He's not playing anything on his first turn? He must have a really unfortunate hand. Oh, he's playing a different deck. Hmm. Let's check his hand. Oh, he got no creatures. Holy fuck, he's playing Relic War. You can heal two health, and then he can have lethal without sharpen. Okay, I see, I see. Blade of Sticks. Build your board with front lines. It is time. It's so unfortunate that we cannot grab that guy yet here. Guess we have no other choice than to pip into Mary Katniss. He can finish him, but if we are lucky, he cannot finish the dearly departed, and we can get the Nightleaf Trapper. Enough of these games. Then I guess, like, Lights Levy and Lips Are Sealed are dead cards. This is a really bad matchup, actually. Hmm. Side brawler, what the? Inescapable duty is going to be good. Play him just for some board presence. Forgive me. Skites of Harvest, there they are already. Hmm. Auric Rush. Huh. Another Dockside Brawl. Duty calls. Radiant Embalmer. Ooh. I'm sorry. You earned your rest. Hmm. Let's get the Nightleaf Trapper. Yeah, yeah, Stefanus, you're right. Can Embalmer get the Trooper from the graveyard? The Trooper? The 
trooper? Who is the trooper? You mean the trapper? Yeah, he could get the trapper too. Yeah, that's right. Maybe that would have been smarter. Actually, because now he got... Um, soulless already. So yeah, you're probably right. Let's take this one. Wow! Oh, soul of the cat! Long time not seen! Thank you so much for your raid! Hello, hello! And welcome, raiders! Nice to meet you! Thank you so much! Hello, hello! Welcome back! Simski! Welcome back to you too! I can't stay long, early morning. Don't worry, don't worry. The online inn, welcome back. See you. Good to see you. Welcome back. We are playing Gods Unchained. I hope you are going to enjoy it. And later, after Gods Unchained, we are going to play some Baldur's Gate. Um, how do we deal with his bot though? These two are hidden. Why does he have Madame? Uh, he's playing a pretty strange deck. It's a little bit like a mix of hidden rush war and yeah, relic war. It's really strange. But it's somehow cool. I don't know. It's a unique approach, I guess. Let's fire up Senjur and Radiant Embalmer to get... Don't really know what, Mary Catmos. Should be okay like this, I hope. I'm wondering, is he having any board wipes? Yeah, he's playing Soul Survivor once. Hmm. Aina, the Frozen King, he's playing two. Feral Shapeshifter. Hmm. I don't know. It is time. Blade of Fight playing, that's strong. Yeah, I guess we need it. Oh yeah, Demogorgon. All right. Oh wow! Thank you so much for your subscription. Soul of the Cat, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, you are so generous. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what is he going to do next? We got the guides, But it doesn't really matter. We got a second Demogorgon even. Okay, we gotta play that. Let's see what he's going to finish. Okay, this one. We are healing for two. He could barely not get the Swart Basilisk. Out of its misery. Or oh, he can barely get it if he hits with the Skites or Face. But is he going to do that? If not, we are going to get him. I hope. Hmm, CERN. I wish we could take him right now, but I'm afraid we cannot. Hmm. Let's hit the face to heal. And I guess we play the other Demogorgon for now. We are healing for even more. Okay, time for bed. 
Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for your rate and and your subscription. See you soon again, I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've been going to bed earlier. I see. Have a nice rest and sleep well. See you soon and thank you so much again. Tschüss. Good night and sweet dreams. Oh yeah. So next turn we can definitely get the Swap Basilisk. Hmm. Should be good, I guess. Should be good. Ah, he plays Sharpen. Oh, so he's going probably to finish both Demogorgons. Not bad. I didn't expect that. This looks a little bit like we are in trouble. Hmm. No, maybe not really. Let's get Swart Basilisk for sure. And we play Lips are Sealed. Yeah, exactly. We go with our Lips. Do we already want to use the Divine Judgment? I guess probably on the 7 4 guy, yes. It's a little bit more mana efficient. We have no target for Light Slavey at the moment. The rest is too big to play. We got 12 cards in our deck left. I guess most of the cards we have left in our deck are helpful in this moment. We have like Lysander's Mercy, we have Hortag, we have Theria. Hmm. He's playing Combat Medic, filling the board completely up. Savage Strike? <laughs> okay. Duty call. And there we have Hortag. Yeah. I guess it's the right time for Hortag. Gain frontline and leech. So we can bump into this guy. He's going to finish Hortag for sure, I guess. But the other two are going to be a problem. Hopefully. Ah, Claw and Feng. Ouch. So he's at 11 again. This one goes for face and out of its misery, okay. Hmm. Another one of those, okay. My choice is defined. We have eight mana now. Dearly departed. CERN the moderator. Mary Cat. We have no target for Light Slavey. Guess it won't be too. Hmm. The light is faithful. 
Did we had you cause an eclipse already? No. Might make sense to draw, huh? There it is. So, but do we already want to use that? Guess probably yes, huh? Yeah, I was thinking we have only 10 cards in our deck left. And two of those cards are you cost, so the chance is quite high. Like 20%. And let's get Gleam to... to build up on our board a little. Mm, I guess we're going to banish and combat looter and dockside crawler. My followers bow to none. So, he's giving up. All right. GG. Yeah. So, two wins, two losses so far. We definitely have to practice this deck a little more. That was weird deck from Relic War to Hidden War Rush. Yeah, really weird. If you want to take a look at that deck. Uh... Did you get bored of Atlanteans? Oh, not really. Trace Taka, welcome back. I think uh, I had a pretty hard time in the last few weekend ranks with uh, Atlanteans. So I thought I'll try something else. And last weekend ranked, I had a good feeling with um, Control Light, but I don't have enough experience. I made a lot of mistakes. I think I could have like 14 or maybe 13 wins with without mistakes. And in the end, we had just nine. Uh, I guess we, we really lost like three, four, or maybe even five games due to mistakes. So I try to practice a little. Our opponent plays Agro Light. Hopefully he's not too fast. I guess we shuffle Thariel in. Plays Agro Light and the heal ability? That's strange. He's playing Taric Extortionist once and Light Slavey once. Hmm. Divine Judgment. Ah. He's playing Lysanda Spear, so we have to keep Ico, I guess. I guess Tidal Prayer is also alright. Yo, I see. You don't use Levy on DD. Is it intentional? Um, I use Levi only on uh, Dearly Departed when I really banish something that needs to stay banished. Like, mm, a Randion or Xansidian or something like that, or Theriel. But at this moment, I just wanted to play it because, yeah, like, to get something to stick to the board, to... Would have used it versus war earlier. Yeah, okay, that's fair point. Probably you're right. Oh, this was a pain. Come on, you don't have Taric Extortionist too, huh? 
To get rid of the frontline protect. Yeah. I guess... No! <laughs> what the fuck? I guess you're right. As war, as few sub-3 strength creatures. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You cause, here we go. Ah, that was definitely helpful. The purity of light is found within all life. So, lootable corpse. Duty call. We could actually look for another U course. Mm, but I'm not sure about it. I guess Highborn Knight is maybe slightly better. Mm, I don't know. But now I'm a little bit afraid he might buff everyone. Ah, he can finish him even. Yeah, I guess Yukos would have been a better idea. It's using heal on him. Ooh, yeah! That's alright. I can do no more. And I guess we grab sheep enraged ally. The light is merciful. My choices defy me. Okay. Let's go for tidal prey. Light Slavy is good. Helps us taking over this board. I think we just play him as a body. Inquisitor informant we are going to keep for a serious threat. Thank you, Kongzilla. Thank you for lurking. See you soon, man. See you soon. And I hope you are getting... You're getting well soon. Oh, he plays inescapable duty for the whole amount of mana. Wow. That's a lot. That's not really much we can do. I wish we had one half mana more to play that big boy. I guess we go Ico um, and heal. Or maybe we actually should have played an Inquisitor Informant too. What did he get back from Void? Yeah. Village Janissary and Encumbered Looter. Good question, by the way. Now it's Therial time. Godlet sounds good. Gain 3-3 three, three sounds good. And I think we can shuffle something in if we really need to. But you'll see. Looks good, I guess. Looks good. Ember Oni, oh ha. Is that twenty five? Strength 
Truth and mercy. Let's give the Oni some order. Let's play the 3-3 three, three guy and let's pip into the God Blitz guy. So we are going to take Smite just in case. Our next turn, we can just do 5 damage. Okay, but we can lock his board with Demogorgon. Oh no, when, if he got Radiant Dawn. If he got Radiant Dawn, Demogorgon is not a good idea. Let's take his CERN over. And then we give some order again to the Oni. We're going to hit his face again and heal Thariel a little. Should be alright. So, he's still down to four. We could attack with those again. I guess he's finished. Yeah, GG. All right. So, guys, oh, that's the wrong score have three wins not three losses like this ah no like this okay i'm quickly going to get a cup of coffee and then i'll be right back with five more games of control light i hope you stick with me and i'll uh, be right back
All right. Here we go again. What is our next opponent going to play? Steel Rat is playing Zubo. Mm -hmm. Hey. Come on, capture it, please. I'm tempted to keep that hand, actually. I'm not quite sure about it. Once more unto the breach. May the light guide your path. My choices defy. This one is not a great threat. Guess we take another tidal prayer. I would like to find with that Yukos maybe. That one, okay. I think we're going to wait with the Senjur for his bigger creatures. Oh, he might play Enrage on her, or on him. Maybe actually on her. Because uh, he gets way more attack like that. Okay. Pretty strong. Five damage in our face. My choices defy me. I'll guess we play Senjur on these two. And we What next? Another one. And a blade of sticks. Ooh. Can get Nightleaf Trapper. Let's heal. Let's play Sandra on these two. Let's obliterate this guy. And we trigger we Tidal. With Tidal Prayer, I hope we can find Lysander's Mercy. At this point. He's getting Jail Beast. Okay. He's getting the buff, nice. Okay. We're down to 19. Duty call. Five mana now. Lips are sealed, okay, but three are not affected by it yet. But it could help. Oh yeah, Lysander's Mercy. Here we go. So we, we actually could dip into Lysander's Mercy next turn already. We're down to 12. Rune of Sight. Mm -hmm. I guess we have to use Lysander's Mercy. If we use you, cause you would need, you would get nine damage probably. Guess that's too much. If we use lips are sealed. We are probably getting seven damage, eight damage around. So yeah, let's use Lysander's mercy. Next turn we are just at 6, so we cannot use any of those yet. He's also playing Madame Denholm, strangely. Um, oh, I don't know.
You cause and heal? Yeah, I think so, probably. Hmm. It feels bad, but I think it's probably the, the right decision. Lips are sealed is kind of wasted on just Oddi. And next turn we can we can pip into our big stuff. And Are we back? Danke, Stefanos. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Let's play Demogorgon. Yeah, we get Madame Denholm down. Right. Yeah, Demo, I think so too. Should be safe. Oh ha! He can finish demo. Wow. But we are at 16 again. That's all right. Now we play Hawtuck, I guess. Yeah. Play frontline and leech. And then we can bump into these two. Or we, we actually finish him. It won't be easier to, to kill Hawtuck now. You want some? I hope that's alright. <clears throat> oh yeah, with 16 health and that hand, I feel pretty much safe, and especially that board. He cannot finish frontline, his creatures are one health. Yeah, exactly. Ah, but this guy got the buff from Rayos. Ow, bucker. But I think it's still going to be alright, probably. Really hate the wolf cutter. Yeah, me too. This guy is just a huge problem. Also, when I play, like, rush decks, like Amazon or something, this guy is always trading two creatures off. Every time. That's just such a pain. I think this board is pretty safe. Well protected both. And the Highborn Knight even got a ward. He can trade him off though, yeah, but then he still got that Ico sticking to the board. Ah, Lekaios adherent though. And Valka. What? That's crazy. Now I wish we still got a pip. It's my time to shine. Lacking one mana, yeah, happens. 
No problem. If it breathes, breathes. God, Blitz guy is good. Mm. I think Overkill might be good on Theriel itself. Oh yeah, and Order. Order is in this matchup good too, I guess. Another round. Wow. It is time. Later fight plane. Could finish him. Da -dum, da -dum. Shit. We could finish him with a trade. I guess overkill, he's not strong enough to overkill anything realistically. Mm. Yeah, finish him, we play Saren. The law moves slowly, but surely. On maybe this one. And then we run with the conscriptor into her. Or we place one overkill and hit on the... Wait. Let's try... Let's... Yeah, let's actually try overkill and then... Shit. Should have hot Valka, I guess. Hit Valka? Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. I think it's okay too, yeah. It's going to be alright. Exactly the heal from the Sanctum we need. We are at 13 again. As far as we can see, he can do 5 damage. The thing is, if we were hitting Valka, um, then we got the problem that Theriel would have gotten way more damage. But now it looks good, I guess. Yeah, no problem. He had already Valka and Rayos, so what could he grab with that? Maybe a woodcutter in for another white four guard. Oh, oh. On the top of his deck. Play your cards right, and I'll make it quick. So let's give him a little order. Barry is going to heal. We are going to heal. Oh, he even draw the Mogorgon. He's really finished.
So, like this. And a little more heal. And a little Demogorgon. And... Ow! The sun sets. The light fades. Day... Or night. GG! So, the score is getting better, slowly. 4-2. GG, thank you. 4-2. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's going to be our next opponent. So, what's up? What's taking so long, huh? Finally, here we go again. Okay. Next opponent plays there. Oh, it's Chrissy! It's zombie control. Good luck, Chrissy. I'm wondering in this case if we should even use heal. Maybe we should use Ecolite here. I'm not sure about it. We definitely keep Highborn Knight, I guess. Let's shuffle Mary Catmos in. Nearly departed, maybe two. Pyramide Warden, we could keep. Turn. Maybe later. Demogorgon later, too. I'm satisfied with the hand in general. Just pass on our first turn. We gotta take that slowly. My turn. We will profit from that ruined ASP dying too. My choices defy me. Mm. Let's pip into CERN for a little draw. And we ramp. Curse of Greed, so he's getting the mana guy back. Fair's fair. Let's play B Blade of Fight Plane on the Voracious Fiend. Also draw. Straight the zombie off. Going to get Gleam. This deck is pretty, pretty diamondish. Impressive. Perseverance. So we draw an additional card, so we are at 8 cards then. Gotta make sure we are not going to overdraw anytime soon. This one goes for face, ignites him. Ico, all right. Idle prayer. Fair, I guess. Hmm. 
And let's tap our god power. I guess we should be careful with our resources. But we always want to stay a little bit, just a little bit ahead on the board. We could actually play Thariel already. But we don't have enough space in our hand. Him off. Eyeball Knight should be good. Forgive me. But I guess Lambasting won't. Why not? Ignite. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I guess we just play our god power and gleam. Let's banish Vorecuous Fiend and Vile Reaver, I guess. I don't know. We pass. Do we pass? We could also play Inescapable Duty. No, oh, but I guess it's not worth it. Hawtuck shows up already, okay. My turn. Hmm. Seems like lips are sealed is pretty nice now. Fuck gold? Meteorite rarity is already expensive, yeah. Golden Hawtuck is crazy. Ah, we got seven cards in our hand. So we cannot play Thariel yet. They are all too strong for Light Slavey. Really departed we want later, I guess. Or we play it now with Light Slavey, actually. Hmm, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, okay. Let's do it like this. We must observe our opponent. Bomb Carver, also not bad. And a Blight Bomb? Mm -hmm. Mary Cat Mods. I guess it's Therial time. Gain 3 3 sounds good. Gain 3 3 sounds good. Where's the overhill hill guy when you need it? Hmm. I mean, not overkill, I mean the other one. God Blitz guy. Should we actually get something from Pika? I'm not sure. I guess I keep my pip. Guess I keep my pip. Hmm. 
This is quite strong. But it costs him at least a lot of mana. But now we can hit our face for 13. That hurts. If I may. We cannot really deal with his board. can do 7 damage in our face. Cause of Greed 2. It is time. I bomb night. This knowledge is forbidden. It's bad. I like the way you scream. It's pretty bad, but we have to survive somehow. Finishing high bottom. I see. Oh, ha, Demogorgon. Ah, we got one too. That might be our rescue here, huh? Bad luck. Oh, damn it. I would have loved to heal a little more. Mm, I guess we are dead. I guess we are dead. We could try to, to draw another Demogorgon. But otherwise, we are dead. This guy. So, we could give one order. We'd get another order guy with inescapable duty. And we play Pyramide Warden. Let's see. not good but we are just barely alive oh no we are dead we cannot could have taken your demo back no no it's taking three mana and then yeah i have just um i have just six mana left so it's not possible to to get demo back and play it at the same turn that's just a possible move when you when you have um, 
inescapable duty reduced with a tidal prayer, then you can do it. Or when you have the pip still left. But good idea. By the way, Prasana, welcome back. Good to see ya. Hidden Rush Deception is our next opponent. This won't be easy. This definitely won't be easy. Guess we shuffle the Blade in and Demogorgon for sure. Mary Catmos. Wow. I have a bad feeling about this. If I may. Best of luck. Hmm. Strength and mercy. Someone. Someone we can see open GP during Mulligan, and sometimes I don't. What's the criteria? Sometimes. Ah, that's strange. Usually it should be like you. If you. When you pick your. Your god power. Then you should see your, uh, your opponent's god power not yet. And right after that, when you are in the mulligan phase, you should see it. That's strange if you cannot see it sometimes. It should be always visible. Use this time for reflection and prayer. Our work is never done. Sometimes it's a little bit dark, so it's hard to see, but I think in general it should be always visible. If I may. During Mulligan, you can see it sometimes, and sometimes it isn't visible. I guess then it's just buggy. Let's seal his lips. But I have never seen that before. Usually I, I see my opponent's god power. Or I was just not recognizing it in the last few times it happened. I thought it be could be going first and second. Not, a, not as far as I know. Oh, we are getting our ass handed here so hard. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Dark Knives incoming, yeah, Dark Knives, or maybe, maybe the other spell, uh, Assassin's Aim, or even worse, those barrels, filling up our board with useless creatures, we will see. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. I know, I know. I'm wondering why he even bothers with trading. Oh, the cat gets the buff, that's good. For him. Lethal Prawler, holy crap. Next turn we are dead. Hmm. I guess there is nothing that can help us right now, right? Yukos maybe. Yeah, but just a little.
We are still going to eat a huge amount of damage. And order on lethal brawler won't what matter. Mm. Not exactly the brightest bulb in the box. So he can do 10 damage now. He's going to hide him for sure, yeah. Makeshift shift. Looks like we are dead. Duty calls. Highborn Knight, but yeah, we are dead anyway. He can just hide the Highborn Knight and that's it. Yeah, it makes some difference. GG. That was just not winnable, I guess, with the cards we got. Hmm. Okay. Let's focus and try to make it still a positive score. Two more games. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next opponent plays Relic War. Oh no! Not Relic War again. We have such a bad matchup against Relic War. Should we use Summon Ecolite against Relic War? We have so many dead cards. I don't know. Sendra is not needed. Light Slavey not too. Blade not. Inescapable Duty can be okay with Pyramide Warden. Huang HD, welcome back. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? It is time. Uh, I guess we just pass. Lysander's Mercy is also not good in this matchup. It's good though that there is Nightleaf Trapper. My choices define me. If we could grab him, this makes it a lot easier. But maybe we cannot. Dragon Fang, all right. So we summon an Acolyte and hit the face. Another Light Slave, oh, damn it. Oh ha! He's using Hero in training. So we have a target for, for Light Slave for the next turn. That's cool. Claw and Fang on her, that's all right. Let's take him over. Zaskia. What oh, the hell? Oh, yeah, what a top deck. Here we go. Let's hit the face and let's grab Nightleaf Trapper. And I guess we pip into another Acolyte. He could have Carnage Sweep though. Hmm. 
So, what is he going to do? I guess he's under pressure. Ah, Wolfcult Vanguard is going to take care of the Pyramide Warden. But he's not getting any creature back, that's nice. Oh ha, he's finishing like this. And then he's trading off the Nightleaf Trapper. Not too bad. He's not finishing the Nightleaf Trapper. Ah, Claw and Fang. Or oh, Auric Rush, okay. On the Nightleaf Trapper now, I see, I see. So... It is time. Hmm. I think inescapable duty would be neat on Nightleaf Trapper to play him right away. I'm not sure. But on the other hand, he's getting then soulless, so we cannot get him back again. But yeah, I guess it. Brings him in a lot of trouble, and then we play Sanjua on Zaskia. He'll probably be too slow. Mobilized. He's getting... How many Empower cards? Three. Uh, first, no. First, draw three cards. Reduce by one. Power cards in your hand. Okay, like that. Guess Radiant and Balma is all right to get. I don't know. Let's get Sandra back. To play that again on Zaskia. Let's see how this plays out. Woodcutter Imba, huh? This guy? If I may. Hmm. Trial begins. Trial, then pull demo? It's not possible, you can only take a card from your domain. Ah, hmm. oh, don't worry, don't worry. Wolf cult vanguard again. Crazy. I don't like that boy. Ah, we draw it anyway. All right. We are just missing one damage. My choices defy me. Yeah, Mary Cutmos is great.
I guess he's finished. There's no way he'd come back from that. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he plays now Carnage Sweep. Ah, Gem Fused Strike. Alright, but then still, Radiant Embalmer sticks to the board. But he could find Claw and Fang with the Gem Fused Strike to heal a little. And I'm afraid he could maybe pull off his huge combo to make that a 30 attack Dragon Fang. That would be bad. He will heal from Relic if it attack your god. That's right. Sharpen he's using. Damn it. Ariel is good, but if we survive... Demogorgon makes it way more likely to survive. But if we trade him off, I guess Ariel is okay. God, Blitz guy we need. Shuffle. Or heal. Guess we take the shuffle guy. We don't want another God Blitz guy, I guess. Oh, we got another God Blitz guy. Um, I guess we probably. Take the God Blitz guy. I don't know. Let's see. Whetstone. Oh, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Whetstone again. And then he's just going to double it. Shit. And he's going to double it again or something? No, he's not doubling it again. Oh, fuck. We need frontline or relic removal, but we cannot get it because we are going to overdraw. Ugh. Ha, oh, oh. It feels so bad to lose against a deck like this. Mm. My hand is full. Highborn Knight. Oh, now we overdraw. So Theriel wasn't a good idea, I guess. Fuck. No way to win that anymore, right? This is not doing anything. Yeah, we are dead. Oh, man. But it's just a bad matchup for, for control light, I guess. Oh, no. Hey, Martin. Schön, dich zu sehen. Na, wie geht's? Es geht. Oh je, was denn los? Wo klemmt's denn? Grad aus den Federn gekrochen. <lacht> okay, okay. Relic is good only on control. Against Agro, it's nothing. Zane, Cyrus, welcome back. You are right, you are right. And I'm wondering why anybody is playing that, because there are not so many control decks around at the moment. So, I'm a little bit confused. Our opponent plays Olympian Light, so... We gotta... We gotta take him under control early on, but I'm afraid we don't have the hand for that. Radiant Embalmer is not helpful. Oh, lips are sealed could be good. If we survive long enough. 
Mm, I'm not sure about the sand. Okay, it got slightly better, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know. Guess I just hmm. skip. Might be a little bit foolish. My choices defy me. Oh ha. Nice top deck. Here we go. Let's take him and let's finish him. Ooh. Ah. That was good. He's healing him. Okay. He's getting a lootable corpse too. So, and this guy grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, so. I guess we gotta play our blade for some draw because we can finish Pyramid Warden easily to get him back. Lips are sealed, is still wasted. Yukos in Eclipse is not that great. Oh, we heal and you cost. That's also an option. Oh no, I guess we go with the blade. Draw might be important. Yeah. Demogorgon. We just need to keep it up until 6.5 mana and then I guess Demogorgon, Lysander's Mercy and Hortak will, will take care. And th but at this board it's way more attractive to, to play Lips are Sealed, I guess. Or you cross or something like that. Let's play Lips are Sealed and be chill and wait. Hmm. Argus, the White Wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are at six mana next turn. CERN! Nice. That's making it row. We're going to heal to full 30 life again. We pass. Laddled Binder. If he's filling the board more, I think he'll probably play Lysander's Mercy. Although, Demogorgon it would be good too. Oh, I'm not sure. Are we play Demogorgon? Is he playing Radiant Dawn? Yeah, he's playing Radiant Dawn twice. So Demogorgon alone is too dangerous. We gotta play Lysander's Mercy. Because Radiant Dawn, that's a spell that buffs all his creatures and they are all waking up. Demogorgon sends them all to sleep, so it's buying us a turn. When they are asleep, they, he cannot attack. But it's still too dangerous. He could finish us with Radiant Dawn. So we use Lysander's Mercy to shuffle everything back in the deck. Mm-hmm. Blood Oath Binder. Aegis of the Innocent. But there's a relic removal. My choices defy me. Let's grab Nightleaf Trapper. And I guess 
Chrissy, good to see you. GG earlier. That was a crazy game. I guess we pull that one back to his deck. And then we play Nightleaf Trapper. Yeah, it was a good game for sure. You played very well. Oha. Holy crap. Hmm. Okay, I guess we want a Blade of Fight playing this guy. And then we hit the face. Mm. And we just... The drop Pyramide Warden. Yeah, I guess it's alright. He got mostly filled his void with these injured soldiers. So it's pretty unlikely he'll get something too useful back. He's sheeping me out, why? Yeah, like I thought, an injured, injured soldier just... It's okay. Oh yeah, okay. We could play Yukos to, to finish his small creatures. Oh no, we cannot. Radiant Dawn, they get stronger. Sealing him. Gilly Departed will not help right now. Um, yeah, I guess not. There is not too much he can do, I guess. Will you clear board if there are two blitz? If I may. No. He would have been with one life anyway. We couldn't have cleared the board even with two blitz, guys. What are we going to do about this one? Let's take a look what we can grab with Tidal Prayer. Ah, Senjua, nice. Let's get rid of him. Let's trade this guy off. And GG. I'm not really satisfied with the score ending with 5-5. I think since it's a deck we don't play really often, it's okay. I think we didn't do too much mistakes today. A few just. But we got uh, some very hard matchups. I just hope we can do better at weekend ranked. But I'm not quite sure if we even play control light at weekend ranked. Since we met twice, Relic War? Hmm. I'm not sure about the current meta. Too much uh, aggro war? You think so? What do you think should we play um, at weekend ranked? Maybe maybe Atlantean Magic? What kind of decks do we have right now? We have Amazons. I guess we wa don't want to play Amazons. Anubians. I'm not good at Anubians. Maybe we could try that tomorrow before weekend ranked. We got Zombie. Zombie might be an idea. Uh, Bomb Dragons is... Hmm. Good when you got a nice draw. Mm -hmm. 
Refresh nature is taking pretty long. Mm. Control magic not showing now. Right. There was not even one one time we played against Arandion today. So hmm. We possibly should play something aggressive, huh? I'm not quite sure what we should play. I'm still not quite sure. But yeah, the meta definitely shifted away from Arandian magic in the last few days. Hmm. I'm really not sure what we are going to play yet. I'm meeting at least one Arandian every day, okay. Uh, yesterday we met one, I guess, when I'm not mistaken. And today we met no one. And those lost in the depth coconut BS. Yeah, for that we definitely need to play an uh, aggressive deck, I think. But we haven't met that anyway today too. So I'm not sure. But alright. I'm going to take a short break, guys. To get some new drinks and a little bit bowl of soup. Exactly, Chrissy, you got it. And then... I'm going to play some Baldur's Gate, but it's not the fancy Baldur's Gate 3, we are just playing Baldur's Gate 1. I hope it's going to be alright. Guys, thank you for watching so far and I hope you stick with me for some Baldur's Gate. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> 